Hi everyone, I'm back with another wildlife origami video and today we'll be making a jumping spider and well hopefully at the end our spider origami will jump like it says. So yeah, let's dive straight into it. So like usual, using a square piece of origami paper. Yes, I know I accidentally sat on it. That's why it's crinkled a bit, but it'll be fine. Hopefully yours is not like that. And let's begin by folding a boat base. So folding this piece of paper in half first. And then we're going to fold the bottom and top end edges towards the center crease we just made. So like that, and then we're going to fold our model completely in half and then unfold it. So, as neat as possible. Unfold it. And then we're going to fold the left and right edges towards the centre crease we just made. I'm going to do the same on the fold, do the same on the other side. Like so, on the fold. And then the next thing what we're going to do is squash the corner. So we're going to grabbing one and then squash down. So you're going to open and squash down. It should line up to the the bottom edge like so and we're just gonna do the same with all the other corners like so and the next thing we're going to do is open up so what you're going to do Next after this is open and squash, so I'm going to open like this and squash down so you'll see the shape will just like follow it along as you do so and try and get it as even as possible. And do the same for the other side open so it's like this you just grab open pull both sides and squash down like so Sorry, have an itching nose. <laughs> and then after this, what we're going to do is fold out like so. So fold to the back in half. And yeah, we've got our boat base like this. Is how we'll usually view it from the side on. I'm just squashing it down to try and get it neat as I possibly can so we get off to a good start for our model like so and then we can actually begin now. So we're going to flatten it and instead of flatten it so it's like, let's see which side, should be this side. We open up so we just want to crease it to get a proper fold. So we're going to flatten it back out like this and then what we're going to do 
is fold in half our model the other way so like this is what we're going to have and then what we're going to do is pinch our model like so which as you're doing so you might see that it's following some creases we previously made earlier so if you just follow them along then what we want to do is pinch and squash down so if we follow along here and line it all the way up to here as we are squashing this down like so so as you squash down you'll see this kind of thing form and you want to center it like so and then once you've got that you want to just flatten like this and you basically want to do that for the bottom side as well so you're gonna maybe if you flip it around it might be easier like open it up and pinch and fold back lining it up again to get that shape what we need like so turn it back then we're just gonna pinch and fold down trying to get it like right up next to here where we fold and the point here is folded down well and cool we can flip it back the other way this way up when we're done and then actually we're going to twist it this way around like so and then we're going to open up and alter the square into a triangle so Opening this up, I'm going to have to figure out how, so we see it like this, basically. We're going to open it up, so if it's like this, put our fingers in here, and then basically bring it together. So like open and bring it together, and twist around, and then this is the shape that we should um, get. And then what we want to do from this position is open it up. So from here, grab and about like this much, I would say, across we're going to fold up. I mean, it's going to only allow you to fold it as far up anyway. like so like this and try not to rip it because it's very delicate I feel like at this stage so it's like so and then what you're gonna do is you I should have mentioned this I always forget to like mention when you need scissors but if you pause it now and grab a pair of scissors we're gonna like make certain cuts so we're gonna make um if we like have this one fold here, we're gonna make diagonal cuts along there, about almost diagonal, it's so like this, roughly like that, I believe is probably enough. Cut it all the way up to this fold here, and we're just gonna do the same for all of them basically. Um, I'm going to fold this down actually, so once we cut this, fold it kind of diagonally, like so, like fold it down, I guess, and then yeah, do save for others.
cool. And then once we've cut it all up and like fold it all out like so. So this is actually our bottom. I'm gonna flip it around and this is actually our top. So I think our top, it sort of looks like a spy. <laughs> Some interesting one and so it just says press down and watch your spider jump. So I think it's kind of like that. I believe, wait, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so maybe it might jump. Like I can see it jumping a bit, but it's kind of struggling sort of thing. However, either way, it does look like the picture. What we're supposed to fold actually, I would say, looks pretty much very accurate. Like, you know, for a first time try. So I'm pretty happy with it, even though it doesn't jump as much as I would like. So yeah, I hope maybe your one turns out better <laughs> than mine and actually jumps. And maybe you can even tell which way is the front and back better. But yeah, this is the jumping spider origami. I hope you all enjoyed folding it like usual write a comment down below what you thought about this video thumbs up this video if you enjoy this type of content subscribe for more origami videos like this and other sorts of arts and craft video i post on my channel and yeah thanks for watching everyone and i hope to see you next time bye